Welcome to part two of the Crack Yak build video. In this portion of the build video, we will install all servos and finish building the airframe. As you can see here, you're going to need three servos total. Two five grams for the elevator and rudder and one nine gram for the ailerons. Before installing the upper portion of the fuselage, we will glue in the rudder servo. Apply glue to all surfaces of the servo that will make contact with the foam. Then wipe away any excess glue with a paper towel. Notice there are notches cut out for the servo wires, so install the servo that direction. You are now ready to apply glue to the upper portion of the fuselage. Be sure to apply glue to all locations on the foam that will make contact with the other piece of foam. Notice that you do not need to apply glue on the cutout areas for the servos. Once you've applied all of the glue, press the upper portion of your fuselage firmly into place. Now wipe away any excess glue. You can now use a squaring tool or something with a right angle on it to ensure that everything dries perfectly into place. Now that you're confident the upper portion of your fuselage has had enough time to dry, you can flip it over and begin installing the other two servos. You'll want to locate your 9 gram and your 5 gram servo. Once again, you'll want to apply glue to all surfaces of the servo that will make contact with the foam. Remember, there are cutouts for the servo wire, and that tells you which way you want to put the servo in. Go ahead and press them both firmly into place once you've applied glue, and then wipe away any excess glue. Once you've installed both of your servos, go ahead and flip your plane over and wipe away any excess glue that might have squeezed through. You are now ready to apply glue to the lower portion of your fuselage. Be sure to apply glue to all areas that will make contact with the other piece of foam. Pull all of your servo leads to one side of your fuselage so that it will be easier when you're ready to wire up your receiver. Now press your fuselage firmly into place. And then, of course, wipe away any excess glue. And again, use your squaring tool to ensure that everything dries nicely into place. You are now ready to apply glue to the butt of your fuselage so you can attach your rudder. Now apply glue to the rudder piece. Be sure you don't apply glue where the cutout is for the elevator. After you've applied glue to both places, you can set it down to tack up for about five to seven minutes. After the glue has had some time to tack up, you are now ready to connect the two pieces. The best method to doing this is playing with it until it is relatively dry. Now prop up the tail of the plane so there is no pressure on the rudder while it dries. Double check to make sure everything is perfectly lined up. You are now ready to install the angular bracing to the bottom of the fuselage. 
Cut the tip of one of the angular braces off. This will be for mounting your receiver and tucking some servo wires away. Now, using a squaring tool, before gluing on the angular braces, double check and make sure everything is perfectly square. Now apply glue to the angular braces. After you have applied glue, you are now ready to press the angular braces into place. Continue pressing it firmly into place, ensuring it dries perfectly square. Do the same thing to the other side, lining up the angular brace with the very tail end of the horizontal stabilizer. If you see any locations on the angular brace that need some more glue, go ahead and add some welder's glue and work it in. Wipe away any excess glue with a paper towel. Continue pressing the angular braces into place until you're confident it is ready to be left alone to dry.